Hey guys, uh, my name is Evan and uh, I thought I'd uh, show you a couple of things that I've done to my computer. Uh, this is actually a Dell Dimension 4700 and I've probably had this computer now for maybe I think six years, I think something like that, maybe six years. Um, and I, I still have fun with it, you know, it's, it's kind of a slower computer but um, you know, in comparison to some of the stuff that's out there today, you know, and then I have my main computer that's on my desk for video editing and, and things like that. that's my Mac. I actually have in, I'm going to be getting a faster processor, but that's also sitting, um, I mean, not a faster processor, but an upgrade for my Mac for memory. But uh, I thought I'd show you around this computer right here, show you some of the things that I've upgraded um, on it. Uh, this is the one that I, this is kind of my workhorse computer because I do a lot of, um, I do a lot of music work and stuff like that. Like I, I have a lot, I store a lot of music on this computer and uh, so, but I, I still use it for video stuff. Uh, I, I actually modified the cooling system in this computer. Well, the first thing I did was I upgraded to a 400 watt power supply because I wanted to get a... Uh, a faster video card. This is my video card. My old one is is sitting on top of my desk over here. But, but that that's the main reason, you know, because then you have this, uh, you know, the, this um, six pin for the back of the video card. And th this is an Nvidia uh, ninety six hundred card. And you know, it it was actually at the top of the heap when it first came out. You know, and it's it does great for me. You know, <clears throat> now at one point. Let's see if I can open this. Yeah, there you go. At one point, I actually upgraded um, the processor at one point. That's under this, this heat sink right here. Um, it's a 2.8 gigahertz processor. That's what's in here now. But at one point, I upgraded to a 3.8 gigahertz processor. And I was dealing with just too much, uh, too much fan noise. So... Um, I think at that higher frequency, it was it was causing the BIOS to uh, work overtime um, to try to cool it down. Uh, it didn't really work for me, so I went ahead and reinstalled the the uh, 2.8 back in, and, and that's that's okay for speed for me. I'm I'm not a big old. This isn't like made for video editing or anything like that, like my Mac is. Um, and then you know you you've probably seen in here, but these are MOSFETs right here. These these caps right here, and those are meant to to remain cool as well. Uh, I think some of this stuff is all you know. All this is uh, made to to stay cool. I think those, yeah, those might be trans transistors right there. But anyway, I did a modification to the cooling system on this com on this computer, and it actually dropped the Celsius by about ten degrees. And what I did is on the back of these computers in this particular design the fan this fan right here the case fan has been installed uh, backwards in other words I don't know if it was a manufacturing defect or a design defect but I think what was happening is that before this computer they were getting these fans installed a certain way and then no one just you know everyone forgot to upgrade it the other way so like everyone forgot to turn them around so that you know, they kept getting, in other words, they kept getting this particular fan installed this way when it shouldn't have been installed in this computer this way. But originally, it would actually bring air from the outside and blow across the fins here to cool down the processor. Now, the biggest problem with that is that when you have a fan up here that's blowing out and it's, it's from your, your uh, power supply, your 400 watt power supply in this case, you have a fan that blows out. Well, that fan is taking in that hot, hot air that's coming across the electricity, the electrical parts in here, and it's blowing that outward. But what's what's happening is that because my system is set up like this, you know, I have an area right here. It then this fan would turn around and suck in that hot air. So I was getting kind of like this effect. So I wasn't getting like fresh, cool air from the outside. So what I did is I went ahead and turned around this fan right here so it would blow air from the inside outward. And then uh, with 
the case uh, cover, I used some blue tape and I taped those up right there. Tape that part up because those are holes, right? And then I also used some blue tape and I taped this area right here. So what ends up happening now, see these are my hard drives right here. Well, I'm gonna be installing a new hard drive. In fact, I got it right here, my new hard drive. But um, what happens now is that from this side right here, all that front cool air is coming through. It's blowing through my hard drives and then it's blowing straight out the back so that I'm not getting any sort of um, recycling of hot air through the system. All the cool air is coming through the front and blowing through. Now, this is my graphics processor right here. Right now I have it um, at, uh, I think it's, gosh, I'm not sure the RPM on this, I forgot, but anyway, this, this fan right here blows on top of the processor. And you also get that ambient air coming from there too that, that blows out. And it might be a little warmer. This air is gonna be warmer than the front, but at least it all mixes together and it blows straight out the back versus having a circulation of uh, air coming from the back that's hot air. So what I'm gonna do today is I got an extra SATA connector down there next to my original SATA connector that's right there. And I'm gonna install a 160 gig, brand new 160 gig um, internal hard drive. Cause that one's only an 80 gig. So um, I'll show you in just a sec what that's gonna look like uh, when that's all done. All right guys, so uh, now I'm at that point where I'm gonna go ahead and take out this cradle. And um, in order to take this out, actually there are, there's one screw down here that you have to take out on the bottom. You'll take that out from the bottom. And then uh, there's also another screw back here that you take out too. So just wanted to show you the, that. Um, before I put the uh, other hard drive in. All right guys, so I'm gonna attempt to do this um, with one hand, uh, but there's a trick to actually installing these drives into these trays. You see though that opening right there and also that opening? Well, there are these fins that stick out right here. Those actually go in there, in those two little openings, right? So just in case you, didn't, you guys didn't know, they don't sit on top or anything and then you just got that one screw in the middle that you're gonna be screwing in. But yeah, they, they fit right into those little holes. All right, guys. Uh, so it looks like we're all done. Uh, we went ahead and installed the uh, other drive, as you can see right there. And then I, I just went ahead and used um, a SATA cable that I was able to purchase. Uh, it's a little longer than my other one. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is not, um, you know, ideal as far as like, wiring goes you know but this is an old system you know it's not like a, a case that was built for for wiring and stuff like that you know i've seen some pretty sick cases out there that light up and all that stuff but um yeah essentially i'm just using my sata cables and then my power cables from my power supply box you know go back there those are those two right there you can see those let's see they're back there those black ones they go right on they're they're in the power line straight from my um, PSU. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and install uh, my um, video card back in. And that should be it, but these are all installed now. You just need these two screws right here, you know, for each uh, hard drive and then you have screws underneath. Don't forget those, they go underneath there. All right, guys, so that's everything installed now. Uh, you know, some of the things you want to think about as far as, uh, you know, like um, cable management goes is that you don't, what you want to try to stay away from is having your cables laying on top of the electronics. So like, say, for instance, this cable was down here and it was laying on top of my, my soldering points and stuff on my video card. You might get some interference. You got to be kind of careful with stuff like that. You know, these parts get really, really hot and he can get tang kind of tangled up. Now again, guys, remember there are better cases for this. This is just a regular stock Dell case, so it's not gonna necessarily be excellent for hiding uh, cables and stuff, but um, you know, everything's kind of off of the, the electronics, which is what I want. And 
you know, everything's installed just right. So, uh, and I don't have anything to worry about in that case. So essentially what's going to happen is, is all that, that cold air from the front is going to come through this gray grill right here through the front. It's going to go through here and then it's going to go directly either out the PSU or out the CPU cooling fan and all my hot air is going to come out back this way, you know, and I'll get some, a little bit of hot air, but at least that'll suck right through here. This doesn't really get that hot. I don't run it to speeds where it's going to get really, really hot or anything like that anyway. So, um, and then this fan here can be adjusted. Uh, using the programs uh, got two two and a half um, um, let's see two gigs and a half of RAM and, and I'm thinking about actually replacing this drive right here with a, uh, a media deck uh, but I'm gonna have to actually uh, do something with the front I may have to dremel it out a little bit here in the front in order to fit one in there because I do use media, um, like SD cards and and stuff like that quite a bit. And, and there's one here at the bottom, but it, it kind of, you have to reach in there and kind of low. So, but anyway, uh, I'll be right back to show you how the install worked. The computer is up and running. Everything looks good to go. Um, so now that hard drive is toward the front here. And it's also going to be getting a lot of air too. Um... And this is uh, the driver utility I, I need to use in order to go ahead and and uh, partition it. And that's it right there. It says new volume. Uh, it says it's healthy. And so I have a lot more memory now uh, where I can save, uh, you know, a lot of things. Uh, so I'm good to go there. Um, one thing uh, you have to do, make sure that you allow your BIOS um, to recognize your new hard drive, you have to do that. Um, otherwise, it's just not going to show up on your system at all. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and partition it and format it uh, for use on this computer. And um, I should be good to go, guys. So this particular upgrade cost me only about 20 bucks, And it's an internal drive, which is cool. I don't have to worry about USBs or anything like that now. Um, so if you have any questions, just put them below. And again, my name is Evan and you guys have a good day.